Hey comrades, today I'll be teaching you how to use FL Studio 12. They already came out with FL Studio 20, but I'm too lazy to crack it, and this version is similar enough that this tutorial should take care of any questions or issues. So, let's get started. When you open up the program, you should see these four percussive instruments already loaded up. These are your drums. They're the best samples image line or anyone else has to offer, so there's really no reason to replace them with anything else. <laughs> Now, if you really want to be fancy, you might want to add a few instruments other than drums to your mix. To do that, just open up this thing labeled Sound Font Player and load up the SGM Sound Font. Now, SGM stands for Saul Goodman, who you may know as the lawyer from Incredibles 2. SGM is the best sound font, nay, the best synth, that exists currently. In fact, it's actually the sound font that Toby Fox used to make Undertale. Let's look at these patches here. Whoa! <laughs> look at all these instruments! How do we choose? Well, you should decide what instrument you want to use based on the piece you're making. That's how professionals make their music. Once you have the instrument selected, just go into the piano roll and click some notes in there like the goddamn virtuoso you are. You may be wondering, how on earth do I compose real music? Well, some professionals might say you need music theory to compose, but I'd say they're just a bunch of losers who need to get laid. Instead of knowing music theory, all you need to do is put down random notes until you get something that sounds half decent. Now, this may seem like a daunting task. If this burden is too much for you to bear, all you need to do is copy other people's music. Now, some people might look down on you for remaking other people's music while also making it worse. Until you label it a remix. Then, instead of insulting your character, they'll just insult your music skills. And music skills, like all forms of art, are completely subjective. So if you're satisfied with the results, anyone who still criticizes your music is clearly jealous and only wants you to quit your dream. Just block them and post your music for the world to see. You might get famous. You might get signed into Ramen Records. You might pay for the ability to post music on Spotify. Be diligent, my young composer, because it's all downhill from here.